Now one of the keys to setting up a work truck is versatility. The easier things are to take on and off, the more useful it is. So today we're going to show you some working man accessories that are easy to take off if you need to, but will definitely help you on the job site. First up is this cap we got from ARE. Now this thing is their deluxe commercial unit that features an all aluminum construction and already came painted to match our Ford. It also has weather sealed doors and gas props, heavy duty hinges, not to mention automotive style locks to protect your valuables. Now keep in mind these things are available with a whole bunch of different options and we'll point some of those out during the installation. Now to prep this bed there's a few things you need to deal with. First off, you need to decide what you're going to do with these plastic bed rail covers. Now on a Ford, strongly recommend that you leave them in place because this is an unfinished area under here. There's also a lot of holes punched down in there, so it'll be hard to seal everything up and keep it from leaking. Also, for our application, you need to get rid of this tailgate as well as these latch strikers and these rubber bumpers. Like Stace already said, we want to make sure our cap doesn't leak, so the next step is to take the foam tape that comes with the kit and run it down the bedside as well as across the front lip of the bed. Now make sure you take your time around the corners and seams because that's where most of your leaks are going to happen. Looks like we're about ready to set that thing on here. Let's do it, man. All right. Now to get your cap on, if you don't have access to a lift like we do, then you better round up at least four guys because this piece definitely has some weight to it. Come on. It's good. Now however you decide to get it mounted, try not to slide it around too much or you could mess up the foam seal you've already laid down. Now most caps are held in place by some sort of a C-clamp like this. That makes them really quick to take off, but since our application is a little more heavy duty than that, we're going to go ahead and drill some holes in this railing and bolt it on. Now if we ever want to take the cap off, all we have to do is take a few minutes, pop off the bolts, off comes the top. Now if you're going to bolt it on, make sure that you use some flat fender washers like this to spread out the load on the railing so the bolts don't pull through. Now that we have the cap in place, we can show you a couple of those options we talked about earlier. Now with this model, you can get double fold doors that open from the center, a single fold door that opens from the side, or a lift up door like we have for great access to the back. Now like you've already seen, we also have an opening side panel that allows us to get cargo at the front of the truck without having to climb through the back. Now over here on the driver's side, we have this lockable storage unit for carrying tools or paint or whatever you need it for. We also have this slick little fold down shelf that will really come in handy out on the job site. Now up here on top, we've got one of their racks so we can carry ladders or pipe or wood or heck, whatever you need. Also, for you outdoor guys, you can get a kayak or a couple mountain bikes up here.